Hey guys, now we're joined by the number one sports journalist in the country, Mr. Exclusive himself, Hutchie. Thanks for joining us on Footy Eds, mate. Take it easy, David. Nice to see you. How you going, boys? You well? Good going well, Hutch. mate. Going well. Now, Hutchie frequently refers to you as the father figure of football. And exactly how many kids do you have? Well, i got four, yeah, three boys that all played footy and uh, and a daughter as well. So, uh, yeah, the father figure, that's a little bit of a stretch, isn't it? But uh, <laughs> oh, but maybe uh, maybe the time in the game, I've been in it a long time, and uh, yeah, I wish he'd switch back to maybe uh, a guru or something like that. It's a bit softer than a, than a father figure. I've got to ask you, you lived the boyhood dream by kicking the winning goal against the Blues in 2001. Do you have any tips for kids out there on what to do in that situation? Absolutely, go through your routine. Um, I got put under the pump with 24 blokes jumping around on the mark, so uh, under pressure, but as a kid, uh, that's the stuff you dream of, and uh, finally kicking the goal, it's a great memory I've got to walk away with my career. And did you uh, have a few celebration drinks after that one? I did, there was a couple of sherbets, which was good, and uh, now that I'm retired, I have a few more sherbets. So. <laughs> Hutch, when's your next day off? It just seems like you and Eddie just work tirelessly. Uh, do you sleep? Uh, what's the deal? Uh, no, well, there's plenty of time for, for time off, James, when it's all said and done. But in the footy season, you've got to be on. You've got to go. So uh, when the season's ended, I'll take it a little bit easier. But uh, everyone's busy in footy. No matter what part of the industry you work in, everyone works pretty hard during footy season. The clubs all work seven days a week, and the media's no different. Now, Shift, by all reports, this year's draft crop is extremely promising. Can you give the fans out there just a couple of household names that they can look out for the future? Well, go with Anthony Morabito. You, the oldies will remember Jezelinko, and that was a catch cry in the game. Jezelinko, you beauty. Definitely a name you can remember. This is Morabito, you beauty. He is a beauty. He's from Western Australia. He's a dasher. He's at 190. We liken him to an Adam Goods. He's got that sort of athletic ability, so he will excite the fans with his great run through the midfield. He had a wonderful championship uh, playing for WA uh, when they won the national title. Now, in 2007, you retired from the Hawks. Are you spewing that you retired one year early before the premiership? Well, I actually couldn't run anymore. I was going on one leg, so um, <laughs> if I'd gone on, I probably would have played for Box Hill for the year. So, yeah. <laughs> no, I had to retire, and I, I, a month leading into uh, the final game um, that I retired, I wasn't training anyway, so uh, I think it was a blessing in disguise. Yeah. But I was wrapped for the boys when they won. I was still on the coaching committee, which was good. Now, you come across so many personalities in the industry. Who would be your most memorable? Well, other than yourself, David, and that famous handshake of yours when you get the big wind-up, when you greet people. Uh, look, uh, look, you know, um, not, not for name. He loves it. It's all like that, doesn't it? Oh, uh, it's just a bit, yeah. Not, not for, uh, no, 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 no name dropping about it, but I'm very lucky to work here, so many at Channel 9, that is, so many great people work here on the two shows, the footy show, which is a great privilege to work on, and and the Sunday footy show and TAC Cup Future Stars. So lots of great talent here at 9, and it's good to be a small part of it. Now, Shifter, who's the best underage player you've seen come through the under-18 system? Well, it's a pretty good question. Right at the minute, we're actually picking the best ever TAC Cup team, which is over the 18 years of the TAC Cup. So we are reflecting right at the minute as we, as we go right through, and that's only out of Victoria, but Victoria is about 45% of the draft market. Yeah. And um, today we're going to announce our half-back line. Uh, we picked our, back li our final line of defence last week, Matthew Scarlett, Chris Johnson and... Uh, and we had Dustin Fletcher in our last line of defence. So today we're looking at uh, who will come across the halfback line. I can tell you the two are ripper players from uh, who are both number one draft choices in Luke Hodge and Brendan Goddard are going to make spots there. And I think they're as good as any young players that I've seen come through the system. Stars through their 16th year, uh, in their 17th, and then were drafted number one. And uh, Brendan Goddard, really, his form at the minute is mm. exceptional, and it's just showing why he was taken number one back there in about 2002. Were there any disasters along the way in your career? Oh, hundreds, yeah. I've been sacked, suspended, sued, uh, you name it. It's happened. I've slipped in. Uh, anything you could imagine has happened. Has happened. I reckon that's probably um, why I've survived a, a fair while because I had lots of things go wrong. I made lots of mistakes and I put my hand up and been willing to work through them. Have you ever considered AFL coaching? Would you consider doing it in the future? Absolutely. Uh, I've always had that in the back of my mind. and. Uh, I always wanted to establish my business, which I started with Shane Crawford, and uh, once that was established, oh, I was going to have a go at coaching, whether it be at assistant level or uh, junior grades, but um, definitely in the future. It's been great having you with us. No, thanks, James. Thanks, thanks, for, us, thanks for having me, Dave. Really appreciate it. No worries, Thanks for mate. having me on your website. It's fantastic. <laughs>